This is going to be a hopefully pretty short video about the future of this channel and an upcoming project. It's going to be the Rule Breaker slash Mythbuster guitar. I built a kit guitar a while back and it kind of inspired me to start building my own guitars from scratch. And while I do know a fair bit about guitars, I know absolutely nothing about woodworking. I do, however, have a mechanically driven mind and I do not believe in a lot of those guitar myths and rules that people have created. I plan on building guitars like an engineer, not a guitar dude. And I wanted to make this first one pretty hard on myself so all subsequent ones seem pretty easy. So this is what we're looking at. This is a rendering I made of the guitar that I plan on trying to build. Here's some of the myths or guitar rules that I plan on breaking and also doing them to make it harder on myself so that I can learn. First rule or myth to be broken. A good guitar has to be expensive. No, I'm using all reclaimed wood and I'm gonna buy the cheapest, cheapest hardware that I can find. Speaking of the wood, the myth or rule that I'm gonna break is that the entire body and the structure of the neck will be made out of slab oak from an antique dining table. I've heard that this will make the guitar too bright. I've heard that it's too acidic, it won't glue together. I know it's hard to work with and that's part of the point. After I build a neck, especially out of oak, I think that uh, all other wood will seem pretty easy after that. And in my mechanical mind, a good solid oak guitar ought to ring like a bell. Either way, they say don't use oak in guitar making. Somebody tell that to Brian May. I guess he doesn't know that his red special shouldn't exist. So about the hardware and cheap hardware. A Bigsby doesn't stay in tune, especially a cheap Chinese Bigsby. Well, I know why that is. It's because of friction. So roller bridge and roller nut it is. And if it needs string trees, those will be roller too. But those are terrible and kill all the sustain, right? Well, I will fully admit that a $5 roller bridge from China is a piece of junk. But if you think like a mechanic and not a guitar dude, you figure out quickly that you can modify it yourself and make it good. Now, the only difference between cheap parts and expensive parts is the material they're made out of and the fit and finish. And also about the tuning stability, I figure that uh, the cheapest set of locking tuners that I could find on eBay or to do a good bit to help that as well. Ah, here's another ruler myth that I'm gonna break. You have to have neck angle to use a tunematic bridge. Now, <laughs> Oh, here's another one. Let's talk about the pickups. Pickups have to be expensive to be good and you have to use Alnico magnets. Well, I'm gonna build and wind my own pickups out of a two by four with neodymium magnets. I know that one's gonna stop a lot of people dead in their tracks. They're probably already starting to click off. Now I've done did the experiments and I done got one built and it rocks. It's gonna have a P90 in the bridge and like a split coil singles uh, at the neck like a precision bass or a Fender 12 string or a GNL. And each one of those split coils will have their own volume knob. So it'll be like a bass and treble that I can add to the P90 in the back. Now this might take a better part of a year. So instead of doing part one, part two, part three, nobody's gonna watch all those. By part four, they give up. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of different videos. How to design and build a custom guitar body from an oak table. Build a guitar neck from reclaimed oak taken from furniture. How to make a pine bobbin neodymium P90 from a 2x4. How to make a $5 roller bridge not suck. A few other things about it is that it's going to have a maple fretboard, medium jumbo fender frets. That's one of the only things I didn't cheap out on because the neck is, uh, you know, your user interface to the guitar. If the neck feels good, the guitar will be good. All right, here's another rule I'm going to break. I'm going to use 500k pots on single coil pickups. Oh. Ah, and I'm gonna make the the control knobs uh, from a old ash broomstick. So by all popular convention of guitar dude myths and rules, this thing should be a piece of crap. It should suck. It should be a, like a harsh ice pick sound. No sustain. It won't stay in tune. I don't think so. I think it's gonna stay in tune. Absolutely rock solid. I believe the sound will be something like a Gretsch with filter trons, a GNL Comanche, and uh, like a Les Paul Jr. mixed. I just hope I can pull off the woodworking parts of it. One thing I do know and one thing I will say is it's gonna be so heavy. Just the bridge pickup is heavy. Uh, the, the hardware, super heavy. Plus I know how much that table weighs. I can hardly move it. But my first guitar ever was a Univox Les Paul copy and I don't think there's any way that it's gonna be that heavy. Well, that just about does it for this video. You can stay tuned and see the upcoming videos and root for me to succeed or root for me to fail. Thumbs up, thumbs down. YouTube robot don't care. It just knows engagement is good. Till next time.